I made it back. I know I didn't finish yesterday. Um, I had a problem with my iPad and I was on the phone with Apple for two hours. It was not fun at all. Another hat day. It's been raining a lot out here. Um, I'm going to do uh, the second part of Home and Gardens, but first I want to tell you a funny story. Well, I thought it was funny. It made me laugh after the fact. And hopefully you'll think it's funny and maybe never have to go through what I went through. So, anyways, I am a nightlight person. Love nightlights. I've always had the old-fashioned nightlights where it has a little switch, you turn it on, you turn it off. Well, yesterday I noticed mine was out. So I went through my little light bulb drawer looking for an extra light bulb. Couldn't find any. And noticed a package of night lights like you just purchased. And I guess they've been in there for a while because I've never noticed them before because I always just replace the light bulb. So I opened them up and I grabbed one and I started walking and I looked down at it and it looked like this. And I said, who would steal the light bulb out of the nightlight? So I walked back over, got the other one out of the package, and could not believe it. It was missing a light bulb. Saw that I had another package, they didn't have the light bulb. So I threw them away, and I was really mad. And then I got to thinking, I thought, oh, my husband in his office has a nightlight in there. It's the kind, you know, that turns off and on all by itself. So I went in there and I got it and I pulled it out of the wall and it was the same exact kind as this. These don't need light bulbs. They're LED lights and you just plug them in and they work. So, in hopes that nobody ever, ever has to go through what I did and I can just save one person, I thought I'd just share that story with you. So anyways, let's get started. Um, today I was at Walmart, I know, go figure, and um, I think last tape I was talking about warm autumn sweater and I wouldn't melt my melts because um, it smells so good, heard so many good things about it, and, oh, excuse me, and, uh, and I couldn't find any more. Well, yesterday when I was at Walmart, imagine that. I saw the candle, and I couldn't believe it. I went home, and I thought about it, so I went back up there yesterday and got them. So I got the warm autumn sweater candles, which I usually don't buy candles, and they were on clearance for $3, so I bought them all. So I'm hooked up with these candles, so I was very, very happy. So one other thing, and I'm going to kind of really stress on this. I know I've um, done a review on these before, Mainstays, Strawberry Lemonade. Can I just tell you this is the best scent ever, I mean ever, ever invented. And it smells like bubblegum too. It's both. You get both. You get first a strawberry lemonade burst and then as it lightens out it turns into like a bubblegum smell. The only bad thing, it doesn't last very long. It doesn't have a real long. Um, scent life. Oh, and thank you, um, Mr. Van Scott, for telling me that these are clamshells. I knew there was a word for them, I just couldn't remember. And then I also yesterday um, melted the try of the uh, strawberry lemonade. Just as good. Love, love, love the strawberry lemonade. That is like the best thing ever. Okay, so, Better Homes and Garden. This is Gourmet Spice Wrap. It, I have melted it. it. Smells really good. It's definitely got clove in it because I can smell the clove. Clove cinnamon, of course. I'm not sure what else. It's pretty strong. It's got a real good smell to it. I think it's, uh, I've done it, melted two. I think I've done one by themselves and one mixed with something. I'm going to have to start writing all this stuff down again. But anyways, yeah, this is, this is really good. I'm going to do some duels. Um, Autumn Campfire Glow. It is dark brown and an amber color. I have not melted this and it smells really good. It smells like um, 
It kind of smells like a sweeter crackling campfire, I think it's called, or there's a Better Homes and Garden crackling campfire glow or something like that. This is what it smells like, but a sweeter version. It's got, I can smell um, chestnuts in it for sure. It smells really good. I like that. This is Tropical Beach Getaway. This I didn't care for because I do not like dragon fruit. And it's got, oh, I forgot to tell you what was in uh, Autumn Campfire Glow. Embers and oak. Um, Tropical Beach Getaway has beach flowers and dragon fruit. And I do not like dragon fruit. It's too sweet. I have a thing with sweet things. I just, I just don't like it sweet. The um, beach flowers is okay, but they're pretty sweet too. If you like floral and fruit mixed together, bursts of sweetness, I guess you would like that. I don't. This is, gosh, I'm going to have a lot of I don't likes. This is um, cheers to that. That's what's really neat though is um, I watch videos and like I see people that love cheers to that. I don't like it. Again, too sweet. It has mango, caparea, caparina, and amaretto sunset. Oh, Lord have mercy, that is strong. It is uh, orange and tan, the real light, or cream almost, which I'm guessing is the uh, amaretto. Yeah, this is the mango, whatever. Whew. It's just too sweet for me. Do not like it at all, but I know a lot of people do. Comfy Cozy Fleece and Flannel. It smells like flannel. It's, um, it smells like uh, laundry soap. This uh, more like the clean linen. This doesn't really smell of anything. In fact, if I remember correctly, when I melted it, it's white and blue. Um, you can't smell it very well. That's if my memory serves me right. It's got a real soft scent. Now here's one I really like that I've heard a lot of people don't like. By the pool. Um, it is splash and coconut. Coconut can be real sweet, and this is fairly sweet, and you kind of get the feel of um, suntan lotion, but then the pool part is the water part, and it reminds me of sitting by a pool sunbathing with my suntan lotion on. I really like it, but I will say you have to melt them together for sure, and you can't melt them in two places at one time because it is really, really strong. I did that once I did it like in the living room in one of the bedrooms and it, it was it was so so strong that it gave me a headache. Excuse me, I've got the sniffles. Um turning autumn forest. This is acorn and wood. I really liked this if I remember it correctly. Yeah. It's kind of some funky brown colors. Um Smells like wood for sure. I'm not sure what kind of wood. It smells like really strong birch and chestnuts again. I smell, oh, you know what? I bet that's the acorns, I'm sorry. It smells really good. I like the acorn smell that comes through. Um, and it melted really good too. This is a really good fall scent. And a lot of people like this, and I like this too, actually. Sweet Bakery Treats. It is raspberry cookies and cinnamon. See now, the raspberry cookies are really sweet, but the cinnamon offsets it, and it makes a really good, good, good blend, and it melts really good, too. I like this. This is really good. Good for the kitchen. Um, Maui Island Adventure Mango and Palm Leaves. For some reason, I've melted it once, I'm thinking I don't like this one. Well, the palm leaf smells good. The mango's sweet. 
maybe they'll offset each other. I'll have to do it again. I love the smell of these leaves, and I've noticed that. I really like um, leaf scents. The le leaves, fall leaves, palm, um, like the bamboo, the moss, all that stuff. I really like that. It's uh, like a skin color and a green. I love this. Apple pie and clove. I sent this to my mom about a week and a half ago. She just loved it. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that clove is strong. You have to melt it with the apple for sure. In fact, you can see I tried to melt the clove just to see because I like the smell of clove. I melted it by itself and it's really, really strong. But together, in fact, it's almost going to make me sneeze. <clears throat> Excuse me. But no, it smells really good. And I like this so well, I ordered a lot of them. So afraid that we're going to go out. This is Corner Donut Shop. It is glazed pumpkin donuts with cider. And I'm thinking this is another super, super sweet one. I just don't like the bakes and the candy and the cookie stuff. And I love donuts. Well, it doesn't smell that sweet. For some reason, I'm thinking when I melted it, it was really sweet. Hmm, it smells really good, actually. Maybe this cider's offsetting them. Or no, you know what I bet it is? I bet the pumpkin's mellowing it out a bit. I bet that's what I'm smelling. Because it's not sickening sweet. It's been a while since I've melted this. Alright, on to the next one. Here is a super duper favorite of everyone's. I have not heard anybody talk bad about this. Pulled, oh, fresh pulled taffy. I always call it Laffy Taffy. Um, it's been years since I've had taffy, so I can't say it smells like taffy. What it smells like is bazooka bubblegum. Ooh, got that on my lip. It smells like real creamy, creamy bazooka bubblegum. And it melts well. And it's got a, a good last, uh, lasting. I, I have nothing bad to say about that. I don't think anybody ever has. Butterscotch maple cream. I've only melted this once. Mmm, smells like butterscotch pudding. I don't smell maple at all. All I smell is butterscotch. It smells really good. Here's another one that everybody loves, and I actually like this one for some reason. And it's a sweet, sweet, sweet one. Brownie pecan pie. <clears throat> My husband loves this one. It smells better, actually, to me when you uh, melt it. It smells a little artificial in the container, but when you melt it, it smells really good. And <clears throat> I think I've told quite a few people... Then I melted um, cherry berry with this, and it smelled like chocolate-covered cherries. It was really good, and it didn't smell artificial at all. Although chocolate-covered cherries sometimes do in real life. Oh, here's another one I don't like. This is probably one of my most disliked next to that uh, blue and black cobbler or whatever. This is baked apple strudel. This has the weirdest smell to me. And I melted it thinking it would be better and I didn't think it could get worse and it did. I, I don't even smell apple. I smell, I guess, the strudel and I love strudel. And this, it just smells wrong. Just wrong. I don't like it at all. Good one now, spiced pumpkin pie. I got a lot of these on clearance on the fall clearance aisle about three weeks ago. 50 cents. 50 cents. Isn't that a wrapper, dude? 50 cents. I got them for 50 cents. Okay, Tracy, and I put the 50 cents. It smells really good. You know what? And I really don't smell the pumpkin so much, but it smells like spice pie. I've never met a spice pie. Probably be good. It smells really good. It's a pretty color too. I'm sure everybody's had this though. Um, another fall uh, clearance item I got for 50 cents. 
Oh, I didn't tell you about it. I was so excited about 50 cents. Farm apple pumpkin. It is... Definitely smells like apples. Good though. Good apples. Like apple cider, kind of. I don't really get the pumpkin. It smells like a light apple cider. It smells really good. I got a bunch of them on it of. This is just a weird section I got tonight. Don't like this one either. Everybody loves this one. So I, I hadn't even melted one of these. And everybody talked so highly about this. I went out and got the big super duper one. And about five of these. I've been giving them away like crazy. Wild berry cheesecake. You guessed it. Too sweet. It's the berry, I'm telling you, it just knocks me over. And I love berries. I love cheesecake, which is a shocker because I don't like ice cream. I don't like cake. I don't like candy. I don't like sweets. I think I've made that point. I guess I'll stop saying it, but I won't say it, but you know what it is for me. I think next time I'll melt them before I buy them. I mean, I'll melt them before I buy large quantities. Okay, I agree with people on this one. Thumbs up. Vanilla Cookie Crunch. This is not sweet to me. This is a nice, buttery cookie. See, like, I can eat cookies like pecan sandies or butter cookies, as long as they don't have icing on them. Just like Pop-Tarts, I can't eat Pop-Tarts if they have icing on them. Cinnamon rolls, can't eat icing. God, that smells good. That smells like you could eat it, like, right now. And I got a lot of these, too. Ooh, another good one. In fact, this is, I think this is my second sleep. It's my second clamshell. It's my second clamshell. Cranberry Mandarin Splash. And I heard somebody say that it reminds them, which is my next one, of the Sparkling Party Punch. These two do smell a lot, a lot alike. And they are a lot, a lot of good. I love them. I think this we're going to be able to get for a while. I think this is definitely going to go out as soon as summer's over. So, if you see them, stock up on them. I don't even see them anymore. Maybe they'll come back in. I guess I could put that one down. That one was sparkly, party punch. Do two at a time. Hey! So, that's the end of that one. I was going to only do two, but since I started, I'll do three. I'll do real quick. Tropical Pina Colada. This has coconut in it. I do coconut. I like coconut. But I don't like it mixed with pineapple and kiwi and colada. And don't like this. God, there's a lot I don't like in this one. Oh, lordy. I do not like this at all. I don't even like drinking these things. Even if they're the virgin pina colada, because I don't drink. So that's a no. Um, this is apple blossom. Apple blossom? Apple blossom. Apple blossom freesia. And obviously it's not going to smell like apples because it is the flower of the tree. I hear my daughter laughing at me. Or she's laughing. It smells really good. Really fresh, light. It smells like a perfume. Like a real light... Not perfume, like heavy perfume. Like a body spray. Like just something light you'd put on after the shower if you're running up to the gas station or something. It smells really good. They should make one out of that. This I really like. This has coconut and fruits, but what it has in it, oh, exotic coconut quince. What offsets the other fruits and coconut mix is the oranges. And that's what you smell a lot of is the orange. Yeah, that makes such a difference. And I love oranges. I love orange scent. I love it, love it, love it. That smells really good. I like that. And Wild and Island Fruit. It's got dragon fruit in it and kiwi. I'm guessing I'm not going to like it. Oh, I've melted one. You know what this smells like? 
smells like the fresh pulled taffy. Unless I got a chunk of that wax in my nose. It does, it smells really good. I'll have to melt that in a minute and see, what, see what's going on. I don't remember it smelling like that. Iced raspberry sangria. I haven't melted it yet. It's pretty, pretty light pink. Although it's open, I guess I should smell it. I put my lip and my whole face in there. I gotta quit doing that. And do that trick Carl showed me. Where you kind of rub it. It smells stronger and you don't have to put your nose so close to it. Carl. I don't know. It smells, um... It's real light. I don't... I wouldn't, I mean, if I closed my eyes and smelled this, I wouldn't guess sangria. I smell a little raspberry, but it's real, real light. It's all right. It's nothing to write home about. Honeyed Island Nectar. Ow. Um, looks like a fruity drink. I smell the honey for sure. I'm not big on the honey scent. I've been a complainer. Negative Nancy today. What's up with me? I don't like it. It's too much honey. Okay, I've heard great things about this. I was so excited to get it. And I haven't melted it. And it's the most beautiful color on top of it. So it's got to be really good. Exotic Paradise Punch. smells really good. It smells like blue Gatorade or I don't know about Hawaiian Punch. It smells more like a Power One or Power Up or Power Eight or something like that. It smells good. One more. Oh gosh. Pineapple Kiwi Colada. Did I just do this? Tropical Pina Colada. Okay, um, Pineapple Kiwi Colada. I haven't melted it. It's yellow. This is awful. This is just plain awful. I don't need to put my nose closed. It smells artificial. Artificial coconut. That's all it's got written all over it. Artificial coconut. It's yellow. You'd think pineapple. Oh, that's awful. <clears throat> Well, that's all I got. I hope you liked my tip at the beginning of the show. And I could say it one person, I hope. Y'all have a good night. I'll see you next time. Part three is coming up.